Developing tonight, students and teachers at Vider ISD continue to cope with the loss of one of their own. 11-year-old Noah Randall died Monday night in a house fire. His dad was badly burned trying to save him. This is a loss that has hit the school district community so hard. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson tonight explains how campus leaders are responding, dealing with this unimaginable grief. Carrie Pierce tells me that the atmosphere at Vider Middle School is somber. She described Noah as a kind soul. So while they're working through their pain, the elementary campus is stepping up to help Noah's family. Complete shock. It's a call no principal wants to get. I got the phone call later on that night that it was one of our students. Sadly, Carrie Pierce is no stranger to the loss of her students. She's been principal at Vider Middle School for three years, and Noah Randall is her third student to pass away. Uh, it just definitely does not get easier. One thing these tragic losses have taught her is how she can help her students cope, especially at an age where death can be difficult to explain. It's super hard and especially at this age and even the ones who didn't know Noah, they still were affected by it because I think it then becomes reality. Death becomes a reality. While students and teachers work through Noah's death, the elementary school is doing what they can to help the family during their unimaginable grief. They've set up a donation area at the elementary campus. We're taking donations, gift cards, um, anything to help the family. These acts of kindness from the district and community are what will bring some light to Noah's family during this dark time. The community has surrounded us and we have people willing to donate. Just ask for prayers, prayers. We need all of them to get us through this. And Principal Pierce has this message for Noah's family. We are here for them, that we are, um, you know, working together as a district to, to help them at this time. A united front to help a family hit hard by tragedy. If you plan to help, you can drop off donations inside the lobby at the elementary. It's off Highway 90. Just let the front desk know that your donation is for the Randall family. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.